Hi everybody, it's Lindsay from Children's Ministry. Just because we are taking a break from getting together at church doesn't mean we can't learn about Jesus in different ways. So today I'm going to read a Bible story from the Jesus Storybook Bible. After you have listened, talk to your family. Tell them what you think and what you heard. The story is called A Little Girl and a Poor Frail Lady, and it's from Luke chapter 8. There once was a little girl who didn't get out of bed one morning, or the next, or the next. In fact, she didn't get out of bed for a whole month. She was very sick, and no one knew how to make her better. Her father loved her very much. One day, he was sitting by her bed, holding her hand, wishing there was something he could do. I know, he said. He jumped to his feet, put on his coat, kissed his daughter, ran down the steps, past the servants, out of the house, through the gates, along the road, into the town, up the steps, and into the temple. He fought his way through the people until, at last, he found who he was looking for. Now here is the dad running down the steps and here's the little sick girl. I wonder who he is going to look for. Let's find out. Jesus, he said, falling at Jesus's feet. My daughter, he pleaded, please. But he didn't need to beg because before he'd even finished speaking, Jesus reached his hand out and helped him up. I'll come at once, Jesus said. The dad's eyes filled with tears. Jesus was coming. It would be all right. In those days, of course, they didn't have ambulances, so they had to go by foot. Jesus's helpers knew that he would heal the sick girl, but they must hurry. If Jesus didn't get there soon, it would be too late. There's Jesus and the dad. But everyone was in the way, hustling and bustling, jostling and pressing, pushing and shoving, squishing and squashing. The disciples ran ahead, forcing back the crowds. Suddenly, Jesus stopped. His friends looked back. What is he doing? Who touched me, Jesus said, because he felt power go out from him. Me, said the frail lady looking down at the ground because she was ashamed. Frail is a fancy word for weak and sick. The poor lady had been sick for 12 years and she had to get well. She knew if she only touched Jesus's coat, she would be healed. So she touched his coat and instantly she was well. She had faith in Jesus. We don't have time, Jesus' friend said, but Jesus always has time. He reached out his hands and gently lifted her head. He looked into her eyes and smiled. You believed, he said, wiping the tears from her eyes, and now you are well. Just then, the dad's servants ran up to the dad. It's too late, he said breathlessly. Your daughter is dead. Jesus turned to the dad. It's not too late, said Jesus. Trust me. At the dad's house, everyone was crying, but Jesus said, I'm going to wake her up. Everyone laughed at him because they knew she was dead. Jesus walked into the little girl's bedroom and there lying in the corner in the shadows where the still was the still little figure Jesus sat on the bed and took her pale hand. Honey, he said, it's time to get up. And he reached down into death and gently brought the little girl back to life. The little girl woke up, rubbed her eyes as if she had just had a good night's sleep and leapt out of bed. Jesus threw open the shutters on the window and sunlight flooded into the dark room. Hungry, Jesus asked. She nodded. Jesus called to her family, bring the little girl some breakfast. Jesus helped 
and healed many people like this girl. He made blind people see, he made deaf people hear, and he made lame people walk. Jesus was making the sad things come untrue. He was mending God's broken world. That's the end of the story. Thanks.